one of the important biochemical reaction at the biochemical test is the catalase test catalase is an enzyme which is present in some of the bacteria some of the bacteria produce the catalase enzyme so the catalase enzyme when present in 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 the some of the bacteria or a specific bacterium that causes the the degradation of the hydrogen peroxide and then this reaction occurs so those bacteria which have the catalase enzyme they are catalase positive and which have and those bacteria which do not possess the catalase enzyme they are catalase negative and the best example that you have to remember is that the staphylococci they are the catalase positive the staphylococci they are catalase positive while the streptococci they are catalase negative and what is the catalase this is a catalase is a test which is performed on the slide and when the bacterial specimen is mixed with the with the agent catalase agent this reaction occurs the the, the agglutinates are the precipitation occurs on the slide we say that it is a catalase positive while when there is no precipitation we say that it is catalase negative another important biochemical reaction test is the coagulase test coagulase is an enzyme which is used to differentiate the the staphylococci the specific staphylococcus that is the staphylococcus aureus from the other other staphylococci so the coagulase test is used to identify the staphylococcus aureus from other staphylococci staphylococci mein teen species aate hain the staphylococci have three different species and on the one species of the staphylococci is the staphylococcus aureus which is the coagulase positive and what does coagulase enzyme do the coagulase and enzyme causes this reaction that is the fibrinogen which is present in the blood the fibrinogen is one of the protein which is present in the blood that is degraded by the coagulase enzyme and that is broke broken down into the fibrin thus a clot is formed so this test is known as the coagulase test and you have to to memorize that which one bacterium is the coagulase positive that is only one that is the the one which is staphylococcus aureus and other biochemical reaction is the oxidase test the oxidase test is is, is used for those bacteria which are aerobic in nature aerobic which are strictly strictly aerobic bacteria jo oxygen ki presence mein grow karte hain these are oxidase positive oxidase test positive because they contain the oxidase enzyme and the strict aerobe the strict aerobe is one of the example is the is the pseudomonas pseudomonas or oxidase positive they are because they are strictly positive strictly aerobic in nature so they are oxidase positive the fourth one method the fourth method to identify 
indirectly the 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 infection bacterial infections are the immunological test the these are also helpful indirectly to identify the infection bacterial infection and how they are helpful to identify the bacterial infections when the the antibodies they are known to us means antibodies they are commercially prepared they are available and they are used to identify the bacteria so when the the when the the antibodies are known and the antigen is unknown that is identified by the known anti sera so anti sera hamare paas available hai the the markets mein available hote hain kya hum karte hain ke bacteria ko bacterial anti jinko identify karne ke liye hum known jo hai anti sera use karte hain and then we see see for for the the clumping agglutination when the suspensions are mixed the antibodies and the bacterial bacterial specimen they are mixed the we see for for the clumping or the agglutination when the agglutination or the precipitation occurs means the 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 uh, antigen is identified the bacteria is present the examples of of such type of reactions when the when there are the the antibodies are known and we identify the bacterial antigen so the examples are here one of the example is the capsular swelling swelling test it is also known as the quelling reaction quelling reaction when we use antibodies against the against the bacteria which are capsulated when we use the known anti sera against the against the the bacteria which are capsulated the the capsular swelling reaction occurs and this reaction is called quelling reaction so these are three bacteria the most important three bacteria most important three bacteria which cause the meningitis these are the pneumococcus here is some what is spelling mistake pneumococcus meningococcus and h influenzae these are the three major bacteria which cause the meningitis and they are capsulated when we use the non anti sera the capsular swelling test are the quelling reaction occurs this is the capsule capsular swelling test or quelling reaction before the addition of anti sera this is the, these are the capsulated bacteria while we use the anti sera the the capsule swells the capsule is swollen so this is quelling reaction positive other examples of of the known anti sera is the slide agglutination test in the slide agglutination test this is one of the type of agglutination which occurs on the slide when when we use the antibodies against the different bacterial antigens such as the o antigen that is the surface antigen atom so we use the antibodies against the different antigens and the examples are the salmonella and shigella which possess the o antigen v vi antigen and h antigen h for flagellar antigen v for vi for virulence and o for somatic or the surface antigen so 
the on this slide the agglutination occurs and we identify the different bacterial antigens such as salmonella and bacteria the latex agglutination this is one also one of the type of agglutina agglutination that occurs when we use the latex beads which are coated with the known antibodies specific antibodies when these are mixed with the bacterial antigen the agglutination occurs thus we identify the different bacterial antigens or the bacteria the fluorescent antibody test the fluores the fluorescing dye the fluorescent dye is attached with the with the uh, antibodies and then we identify the bacterial antigens and another method well known method is the elisa that is known as the elisa and it is short form of enzyme linked immunosorbent assay so this is the this is the elisa one well known method of identification of of the antigens or antibodies now coming to second type that is the when when there the there are the known antigens hamare paas antigens known hain lekin wo identify the antibodies in the serum of the patient known antigens commercially prepared hain inka suspension hamare paas hai maujood hai and the we apply these known antigens to identify the antibodies present in the in the serum of the patient which have got the bacterial infection so these are the examples the vidal test well known test that is no longer in use who does not recommend this vidal test however it is is still performed in the basic laboratories and this is known as the vidal test which is performed for the 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 salmonella infection and the salmonella causes the typhoid fever the typhoid fever mein hum vidal test karte hain and we observe for the 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 rising antibody titer in the patient so we suspect the presumptive diagnosis may be drawn that the patient is suffering from typhoid fever and other test that is the vdrl venereal disease research laboratory and this is this is performed in the syphilis the patient patients of having the disease the patient possessing the disease the syphilis we perform this this test vdrl vdrl stands for the venereal disease research laboratory and also some of the mycoplasma infections they are also identified by using the known antigens and we identify the antibodies present in the the in the serum of the patient that is suffering from the mycoplasma infection the the latest the the latest method of identification of the the bacterial infections or the the molecular methods the molecular methods they are more specific more reliable and and they have the high sensitivity and specificity and there is low turn around time to test mein hum time lete hain wo bahut kam hota hai usliye this one is the rapid test rapid and reliable test most reliable test for the identification of the bacteria and this is known as the polymerase chain reaction so pcr pcr is 
is the recent method of identification of bacterial infections. And this is the most reliable method. The last one, not the last one is the animal inoculation. And this, the animal inoculation, the, the, the culture which we have obtained on the, on the pure culture that we have obtained, the, we inoculate that, uh, that species, bacterial species, species to the animals and then, then the, these, these procedures or the, these methods are employed for the research purpose, purpose and no longer for the, the bacterial identification, but still they are for the research purpose, animal inoculation. And one of the important uh, the, the, the theory or the postulate is the Cox postulate. Cox postulate is is that the the when we isolate uh, we isolate the bacteria from the patient which the, which have caused the disease in the patient that should should be isolated in the pure form and then when we the pure form of the bacterium is in, injected or inoculated to the animals they cause the same disease. So this is the pas Cox postulate, the, the bacteria which have caused the disease that may be isolated in the pure form and that pure form when injected or inoculated to the animals that cause the same disease, the same lien and this is, is known as the Cox